Hi guys, welcome to the channel, Steve the Transit Camper. I've got the fortune to be able to drop Mrs. Baby off to go for a drink with her friend. I'm gonna find a nice quiet car park and do some editing on my computer. And then Mrs. Baby will be ready and she'll give me the phone call when she's ready to be picked up. And that is tonight's plan. It's not a stealth camp overnight, so please leave. <laughs> it's just chilling in the back of the van going to have a look at the cameras, see what's going on and cook something. So we're just waiting for the contact for Mrs. Baby to jump out and go and meet her friend and then we'll go to the car park. This is where we've chosen, right by the river. We'll get a bit of foot traffic. Takes me a while to decide, but we're gonna be here for about six hours probably while we wait for Mrs. Baby to go out for a drink with her friend. There are one or two people about. And that's it, we're in. Had to just uh, hang around for a little while lots of people about but we'll get the cameras on i'll give you an idea i've put a time lapse on in the front so we'll get a nice little sort of five hour time lapse and uh, we'll settle down do some editing <music> Good, some nice bright pictures. I will link it to the iPad. I use this app here and you have to find it. Usually says cannot find a device for a while. Might take a little while for that to to sort itself out and get a signal. Well, there, there is a signal there, look, top right corner. And that is linked to the camper Wi-Fi. So we just keep refreshing this. Cannot find device, I'll get back to you. And we have, of course, brought the beautiful cat, the dog, as I poke her in the eye, and I bought her some treats. And we'll settle down in a minute. This is what I bought, cat, her favorites. Bought myself a little trifle as well. Some tortillas. And I'm gonna have some chicken tikka wraps with a bit of salad. Which happens to be my favorite. First job as always, let's get the kettle on. Now I could have stayed at home, absolutely. And done my editing there. I think I said laptop at the start, by the way. You won't ever see me with a laptop. I always use my phone 
to do all my editing. I use Splice software. But yeah, I could have stayed at home, sat by the fire, we'd cat the dog on my lap and do, doing it there. But I easily get distracted with the TV and you have your surround sound on, don't you? And then you start going on YouTube and you just end up distracted. But tonight I wanted to get it all sorted. So it's a nice little bit of me time. Now, last time I came camping, I managed to lose one of these cups. And it's all a bit of a mystery, really. I think I took it out to wash it, took it in the kitchen. Haven't seen it since. Never mind. Got Mrs. Babies. Use that. I've got my bin set up. I've got my cat set up. Kettle's on. Let's find my milk. Got the table to set up now. That's where we keep it. And the leg is there. Sorted, I feel at home once the table's up. Still haven't managed to link to this yet. Just poured Cat the dog. Some water. She goes into survival mode when she's in the van. She needs to eat. She needs to sniff the fresh air through the gas dropouts. She needs water. She's literally been out of the house, what, half an hour. And she goes into survival mode. Still having problems, but it does say Wi-Fi connected. And there we are, it's just found it. So you hit that and the screen should come across. There is a big delay between the two, which doesn't affect the recording, obviously, but always a helicopter. So there's a big delay, it'll get there in the end, I'm sure. Oh, kettle's boiling. And there we are, they've all just popped up now. So what I do is I go onto there and I screen record now on here. Because each little video from each camera you have to download them, it takes forever. So I soon got bored of that. So I just screen record the whole lot and then pick out what I want to see. So this definitely is the time in Shrewsbury when everybody's arriving on the car parks. Designated driver, I'm sure. They'll all be out going out for a drink. I could just sit back here and relax and have no worries. Cat will curl up in a minute. She's waiting for a treat, so she won't settle for a while. But this is cool. This is what I like doing. What are these boys up to? I haven't had any tea, so I'm gonna cook early. But let's get some editing done. Not on a laptop. <laughs> you right, cat? Say hello. <laughs> Gorgeous, aren't you? Get up in there. Right. Trouble is, you get distracted by the cameras now. <laughs> Lots of car doors slamming. Busy car park tonight. I 
have found a way of turning that round so it's straight. I cannot find it again. It's so annoying. It's on a menu somewhere. Oh. Never mind, it is only the recording device. 12.6 on the batteries. Well, I'm already getting hungry. Let's put some tikka on. So I made a batch for me and the boy the other night and I made a crafty banker. Just got to warm that through now. Look at that. Just going to cut that up a bit smaller though. And so I've just chopped that up a little bit smaller so it goes round better. Hope to get four wraps out of this. Well, you've begged for long enough now, haven't you? Go on then. Go on in. Let's give her a little starter. She loves them. Fridge raiders absolutely stink. But they're for humans. I always thought these were dog treats. And Mrs. Baby said, no, they're not. They're for humans. Stink. No thank you, sir. I've got my favourite hot pepper sauce, which is what it's all about. Hot pepper sauce, I love it, Encona. I bought some of this goo. What is it? Red velvet? I don't know what it is. But it looked good on the side. Lots of people about in the car park. Plenty to look at. Of course, you do have to be careful with meat to make sure it's warm through properly. Well, I've had to compromise. I cannot turn that. I don't know how I did that before. And that's how I like it. Nice and simple. Pea shoots and wild rocket. She's had a few more of hers. And that tikka is almost done. Just a few cars leaving the car park. Let's get me tikka. And this is how I do it. Tikka. Wrap it up. And I love this hot pepper sauce that much. That every mouthful gets a go. Love it. The best. Absolutely gorgeous. Keep them coming. And sadly, this is number four. Well, that's the main meal squared away. Let's do a bit of washing up. And washing up consists of these Zoflora wipes. <laughs> I don't think Mrs. Baby had approved really, but it is what it is. There'll certainly be no food left on this floor. Cat will put a stop to that. These pans are so non-stick, they're amazing. So if you invest in a good set of pans, there's no scrubbing, there's no work really at all. And these weren't that expensive. There we have it. some puddings now. I do like a pudding. 
So first pudding is a simple small trifle. Now Mrs. Baby won't eat a trifle if there's sponge or anything soaked into the jelly. She says, I'm not eating that. And I think this one's got the sponge in, but I love it. Doesn't bother me. Right, let's have a taste test. Oh yeah, nice. That'll do for me. Look at that. I didn't notice it came with its own spoon. I wonder how many other people haven't seen that because of the label. Did you see it, cat? No mind licking your lips. Go on then. Another three. She's got two left. Well, it's half past eight. I need to get some serious editing done. There's always something going on on the camera every time I talk. It's good. Exciting tonight. Well, my weather app says it's seven degrees and it certainly feels like it. So we are going to get the Chinese heater on. Let's get warm. The time won't be right on that, by the way, because I keep it switched off. That green button down there switches it on. Because otherwise that display is on 24 seven and you don't want that. There's the app, seven degrees, feels like three. Well, it's 20 past nine now and I've just had the text off, Mrs. Baby, come and pick me up. I had another text. Come and pick me up at quarter past 10 outside the pub. So I've got about three quarters of an hour. A little bit longer, yeah, about 45 minutes. And then I'll be heading off to pick Mrs. Baby up. Are you ready to start heading off home, cat? Well, I've managed to edit just one video, so that's okay. Got a few really good, exciting camps coming up with Big Jace. So I hope you're uh, all be joining me to watch them. Some proper good stuff. And like I said in the last video, we've booked aeroplane tickets. More about that soon. <laughs> Lots of cars on the move now in the car park. So whatever was on at Theatre 7, I'm guessing it's finished. Mass exodus. What's this guy doing? He's disturbing my YouTube video. Move yourself. Or turn your engine off. Unbelievable. Forty-one. Hardest part is getting out of the back of this van without her trying to get out and run off. She's a nightmare. Well, we've come to the end of our peaceful time in the van, having them lovely wraps, watching the world go by and doing a bit of editing. I've really enjoyed it tonight. It's been much better than just being sat at home. I'm going to pick baby up in 15 minutes. So I'm going to end this video now and I'll just show you me leaving the car park and we'll see if we catch Mrs. Baby on camera. <laughs> Thanks for watching Caesar Transit Camp. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Take care. <laughs>